Okay. I uh, felt a little bit guilty about the way I uh, changed that leg design. So I thought I'd throw this in real quick. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Um, I started off with the cylinder, so that part's no big deal. And uh, this has gotten squished a little bit. I don't think these actually look like this in real life. I think they're symmetrical. I'm going to go with that assumption and uh, turn this into an editable poly now. And we'll do this pretty much the same thing we did before, but just add a little bit to it. So, say here, grab all that, scale that up in a plane, and uh, probably need to extrude that a little bit now. I'm just trying to match it up to the design of the previous one, going in faith that uh, it's right. Now, see how that grabbed them on both sides the way I did that? I want to point something out here. Um, it, it doesn't bother me that we've got them all selected on both sides, but I don't really want to extrude them on both sides. I'm only worried about the outside of this thing. That's all anybody's going to see. Well, is that entirely true? Now you're going to see the inside of this leg. Let's try to do something symmetrical then. So what we'll do is uh, come back out, um, slide extrusion. It looks like it's a straight extrusion. Let's say to there, and OK. And let's take both of these faces of what's left and do an inset and change the inset amount. Another way you can kind of approach what we did before. And we'll go in a little bit. And this time it'll be a bevel. Let's say. And change our outline amount. Let's see, one step, two steps. And now we need to bring it in. That is bevel it in. So we'll say, let's do apply. Hmm. And pull this in. And change the outline amount yet again. That's getting close. And you can see that if you spend a little more time, you can get that closer. So we'll say OK to that. And now let's worry about uh, the top and the bottom half. And like I mentioned earlier, I personally like to keep things straight as much as possible. It makes the modeling a lot easier. And then later you can move stuff if you need to. So a click on this yellow bar gets me out of uh, sub-object mode. Then I can go to my y-axis here. Shift. I'm going to use the shift key. And go down to about where it would be. And it's a copy. And then we'll go ahead and attach this, just like we did before. Just show you another way to do it. And uh, get out of attach, go to polygon, and let's just kind of do a better job guessing this time how big this is. And I'm not going to try to get it perfect this time, but I'll get it closer than I did before. I'm going to need four of those. Oh, I used um, 16 segments this time from my cylinders, by the way. So that'd be a little rounder. And you probably get a few more. And I'm using my Alt key to change my view. Alt middle button. And uh, let's say, okay, it's almost half on each each editable poly section or element. So now we'll go to bridge and try to bridge those in a way with a lot of segments so we can adjust this. No taper. We're going to need one, two, three, four, maybe four segments. Something like that. One, two, three, four. Let's call that good and say OK. Now, because this was round, when it did the bridge, it put a curve on these segments. So, I need to fix that. I'm going to go to Vertex, get into my right side view, grab all these guys, and scroll way down, 
and uh, make planar in the Y? No. Sometimes you got to guess around um, depending on, there we go, X. See how easy that is? Grab all the vertices. You better check something. Make sure ignore back facing is turned off. So you're grabbing all the vertices on both sides of that model. And then again, we're saying make planar in the X. So it just cleans that up. Really nice tool. You can also use view align as long as your view is, uh, is correct. You can make things flat to the screen and line up. Okay, so what else here? Let's go here and let's um, shrink these in probably just the X direction. Just like the one in the background there. And this one we can move up a little bit. In fact, this one we can move up a little bit. And this can probably stay around there. And this can go up and scale it down. And you can kind of see where we're going here and how that's a lot closer than the one I did before. So another way to do the same leg segment. So um, you'd have one here and there would be a bone for this. There would be this lower one and I'll try to um, find some time to do one of these feet later and maybe a lower leg. And uh, just finish this up because I want to rig this myself anyway. 